Hello everyone, it's Stray Fay here with my new Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade for the Nintendo Wii. This is pretty much, I could say, like an improvement on Trio Tranquility. You probably noticed from the opening, um, a lot of the characters are reused from Trio Tranquility with some new additions. Also, I should probably start the new game menu before <laughs> it takes me back to the opening. We don't want to see the opening again. Regardless of how cool I think the song is. Um, so yeah, this is... This uses the same characters that tr as Tree of Tranquility. However, there's a lot different about it. The world is pretty much completely different. Um, some of the me game mechanics are different. And the story is different. So... Shall we start? Let's choose our character. Um, they also give us the option to choose a Trio Tranquility protagonist if you want. Cool girl and <laughs> wimpy boy. We are a wimpy boy in in uh, our Trio Tranquility Let's Play. Um, I am going to choose the Animal Parade girl though. I think she's I think she's adorable, and yeah. <laughs> and we get to we get to woo the bachelors this time around. Okie doke, let's let's start. Just throws us right in, eh? Uh, what the? Th <laughs> hey, don't forget that we have to go see the Harvest Goddess. <laughs> I've got a fairy. What? I have a feeling she needs our help. And y you're the only one who can see me. <laughs> I'm just like, eh. <laughs> Not too concerned about this right now. <laughs> oh, hey. Er, what's your name again? Oh, okay. Sorry if I like like mix up the voices that I use in Tree of Tranquility. I will definitely probably mix up voices. We know this person. Alright, what's our name? Our default name is Molly. What other default names do they give us? Angela, Mary, Sophia, Elena, Becky, Lily, Susan, Laura, Nora, Dorothy, Sia, Meryl, Anne, Alice, Beth. Jeez! <laughs> there are a lot there are a lot of defaults. Um, April, Fiona, okay, finally back around. Alright, all very lovely names, but I am going to pick a different name. I am going to pick my name, uh, or at least <laughs> what I can fit of my name. Um, well, yeah, Gabriel. T technically, this is ga called Gabriel, but I'm going to pretend that it's pronounced the girl version, and I'm going to be Gabriel. Alright, choose this name. Ah, that's right. Gate. <laughs> Gabriel. I'm gonna I'm gonna flub this up so many times, cause yeah, the whole tree of tranquility let's play, I called myself Gabriel. <laughs> I'm Kane, the owner of Horn Ranch. Nice to meet you. It's only a little longer to your house. Would you mind if I asked you? I wish this text would scroll a little bit faster. And a few questions about yourself until we get there? Sure. I'm just gonna skip ahead like that. It's just that it's so unusual for young people to want to start up a ranch these days. Well, let me start with this. What's your favorite food? <laughs> it's the same line of questioning as before. <laughs> Well, I kind of already know the answer to this, um... Yeah, um, fish? No. I mean, I guess fish is alright, but every time I eat it, I puke my guts out. So, no, <laughs> not fish. It might taste good, but I don't like puking my guts out, and I'm pretty sure you guys would agree, this, agree with me. Um, yeah, I don't think it's an allergy, I think I just have some sort of intolerance to that. Vegetables and fruit? Well, I, I don't like fruit, but I kind of like some vegetables. I don't like it when people cook it 
cook vegetables too much. I, I don't like it. I don't like rendered down vegetables to the point where they're just mush. I kind of like the crunch of a vegetable. So of course what's left over is eggs and cheese. Protein. By the way, these questions don't matter. I see. And when's your birthday? Um, alright, what season were you born in? I was born, I'll say in the fall. And early, middle, and late. You can't choose the day like you could in other Harvest Moon games. Um, you just kind of choose what part of the season you want it in and they, they give you a day. I'm guessing this is so you don't accidentally place your birthday on a day that conflicts with the festival and you won't be able to really be able to celebrate it. So I'll say I'll say early fall. Gotcha. Anyway, like I was saying, there aren't a lot of ranchers now. I hope that you'll be reinvigorate. <laughs> I hope you'll be able to reinvigorate the town. I'm gonna budge up my sentences because this text box is really just early. <laughs> However, this place has seen better days. I, I mean, this place looks nice. This is very scenic views, actually. We haven't had any good crops in a while. No one seems to know why. Hey, Gabriel. I know you're excited about finally heading your ranch. Remember that we have to go see the Harvest Goddess as soon as we get there, though, okay? Hey. Are you even listening to me? <laughs> He's like wigging out. I don't even care. I am the... <laughs> I'm just the aloof protagonist. Oh boy. Some serious lag. Too much. Too much for the game to handle. Too much scenery. There's our farmstead it looks like. Uh, a little broken down, but we can fix it. At least they give us a barn and a coop. We don't have to build our own barn or coop. <laughs> hmm. Uh, this ranch is pretty beat up. Oh, who, who dis? Um, I'm gonna probably guess who it is. Hello? Hello? It's you. <laughs> Hello, you must be Ga <laughs> Gabriel. Welcome to Harmonica Town. I'm Mayor Hamilton. <laughs> Alright, so instead of Waffle Town, it's called Harmonica Town. It seems like everything in this world is named after instruments instead of desserts. Why don't I explain the basics about your ranch? It may look a bit rusty, but with just a little care, it'll look fabulous in no time. Behind you is your plot. Ooh, you even give me a few crops to start off with. Well, this is great, Gabrielle. You get a house and land for free? What a town! Oh, I nearly forgot. You can make the 5,000 G payment to your new land at the town hall. Oh, it was... <laughs> I guess... I, <laughs> I guess it's, it was too good to be true. There's no due date, and you can pay any time. At least look at the bright side, there's no interest either. Well, I guess it was too good to be true. <laughs> Are you my voice, Finn? I just said that. Oh, I have this for you. It's a map of the surrounding land. I'm sure it'll be helpful to get you situated. You got a map. Press plus to use it. Yay. And I have this for you too. You'll need this to start a ranch. You got farming starter set. Now you can start farming. Yay! I don't have to go through a whole dumb tutorial 
just to get my tools. You'll find flute fields over there. There's a farm and a ranch, so they can help you if you have uh, questions. Oh god, it's, I can't, I can't like skip ahead. Also, opposite flute fields is Harmonica Town. Well, everything's by the ocean. Head this way to get to the Gaumon Mines. I've also left you some helpful books in your bookshelf. I probably won't even read them. <laughs> I'm not sure if, if you're not sure about something, take a look. It's likely in a book. Well, I'll be heading back to Town Hall. Once you're ready, stop by the town. Will do. Well, let's start by naming the ranch, Gabrielle. Oh, what should I name this? Default spring farm? Um, what other defaults? I'm gonna be <laughs> looking at defaults a lot. Sunbeam, flower, milky, calm, caram caramel, I guess. Wasn't that what, what the district was called in our Tree of Tranquility Farm? It was the Caramel District? Sunspot, green, cool, sun. <laughs> I'm gonna be named Cool Farm. Comfort, peace, brook, maple, memory, sunrise, lucky, garnet, green. Again, looks like waffle. <laughs> really? <laughs> looks like these are kind of randomized as well. Well, I'm not gonna name it any of those. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it Fairy Farm or Ranch or whatever they want to call it. Fairy Ranch? That's a great name. <laughs> oh, thanks. It kind of fits because you're a fairy too. <laughs> we can find the Harvest Goddess in the Garmin Mine area. The path to the northwest should lead us there. Northwest? Okay. <laughs> All right now, let's hurry up and see the Harvest Goddess. This. Nope. <laughs> hey, Gabrielle, you're not listening again. I'm more concerned about the house. <laughs> Poor Finn. All right. Ooh, this, it looks nice inside. It's clean. That's the bookshelf Mayor Hamilton was talking about. You should take a look. You can save your game at that bedside table. Save your game often! If you have any questions, press 1 to talk to me. Oh, okay. Basic controls is added to your help menu. Titles is added to your help menu. Ring menu is added to your help menu. <laughs> Ho! Oh, is that okay? Ho! Oh, watering can! Seeds! Alright, yeah, so one pretty much pops up. Finn, who kind of acts as a tutorial. Oh, okay, explore the town and meet everyone. That's our first goal, I guess. Um, yeah, these are tutorials, in case they need them. Um, I think most of the stuff we're gonna learn as we go along, but some of this might be useful, especially maybe basic controls. Okie doke. Actually, what other tutorials do they give us? Not not talk to you, no. Titles... Yeah, I think most of the stuff we're just gonna learn as we go along. And like, if I look at it now, it's not gonna really make sense. Uh, Alright, bookshelf. Um, I probably won't read a lot of these books, but here they are. Fun, fun facts and trivia! For first time visitors of Harmonica Town, this might be interesting. Wait, probably not to get information. Check the posting board for various tidbits of information. They're updated often. I'm guessing this is in like the town square. 
get land from town hall. You can buy land from the town hall to grow even more crops. That is actually very useful information. Yes, you can expand your farm with more land. You can't move your house around like you could in other Harvest Moon games. I know that was a thing in Magical Melody and Tree of Tranquility. They allowed you to pick from like three different plots where you wanted your house to start off at. And in Magical Melody, you could actually move your house. In Tree of Tranquility, you couldn't. Um, yeah, our our houses are set in this game, but you can buy like additional plots surrounding your farm. Which is fine. Stores. Each store has its own hours and holidays. Check each store sign and plan ahead. Also, a very convenient thing in this game is that, um, yeah, stores are located in, in like, different districts. Like, there's the farm stores in Flute Fields, the, all the stores in Harmonica Town, and, like, stores at the Garmin Mine District. Um, each district is closed on a certain day of the week, so on that day of the week, you don't have to bother, like, walking all the way out there. Um, and it's- it makes it a lot easier to remember because, um, yeah, I- it was kind of annoying when each store had a different day that it was closed. <laughs> At least all you have to remember is like, oh, on Sundays, Harmonica Town stores are closed. Alrighty. Um, this is kind of like your trophy list. Um, saying what crops you've grown. Um, yeah, nothing- there's not going to be anything on these lists right now, but you do get kind of a little bonus for completing these lists. Like raising all the animals, raising all the crops. Yeah, you do get kind of a bonus for completing these lists. Nothing game-breaking, but it's just kind of to, to show off. Uh, recipes, lots of recipes. Ooh. <laughs> there's a new... There's a new there's a new recipe category, ice creamer recipes. Are we gonna have an ice cream maker? Oh boy. Probably gonna have every flavor of ice cream, like bacon. Alright, do I want to put some stuff away in my toolbox? They gave me free turnip seeds. Um, I could probably just keep these in my rucksack. I think on the first day, there's like nothing you can forage anyway. <laughs> um, eh. eh, actually, they might give me items too when I talk to people, so let's just put them away. I'm not gonna be farming it right now. I'm gonna farm at the end of the day. I definitely want to get going and start talking to people right away before um, the shops close up. So yeah, they, start, they started us off at 10 a.m. when usually the game, your, your day usually starts at 6 a.m. So, Finn has Finn has kept asking us to go to the Garmin Mine District to see the goddess, so let's go northwest to the Garmin Mines and go see if we can talk to the goddess. Do 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 do. Bum ba bum 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 ba da na na na. Alrighty. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Great. We can't jump that. It's broken. We can't get across. What should we do? Um. Give in to despair? I don't know. Uh, maybe this boy knows what to do. <sighs> the bridge is badly broken. Oh, I don't believe we've met before. In a different universe, we have. I'm Gabriel. Ah, I see. You're here to start a ranch. This bridge was damaged in the last big storm. Storms like that never used to happen around here. It's like something is wrong with nature. It's running out of control. Things like this are happening all over the town. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Bo. I'm training at the Carpenters. Oh, Bo. I wish he was a bachelor, but he's not. <laughs> he's, he's adorable. 
Nice to meet you. It's used, but I'll give you this. You can use it to collect lumber. Yay, we got an axe. Now you can collect lumber. I asked Mayor Hamilton to bring me my toolbox. Of course, <laughs> and he didn't bring it to you. Without my toolbox, I can't do my work. No. Oh. Well, I guess we have to go back to the mayor. Axe was added to your help menu. Okay, I also remember something I should I should have probably done before I left the house. <laughs> uh, let's go back to our house real quick, and then we'll go to Harmonica Town to accost the mayor and try to get the toolbox so Bo can fix the bridge. <laughs> really, the mayor should, should be on this, man. Like, people can't... A road is blocked. You can't just waffle around and do nothing about that. Oh, alright. This is a very big world. Yeah, this is one of the complaints a lot of people had with this game was that like the world felt too big. But yeah, don't not to worry. There is a lot of uh, methods of transportation in this game. And soon, like later, we'll also get a method of uh, fast travel. Which will make things a lot easier. It'll just make travel super easy. Although I'm not sure how fast we'll be able to um, unlock that feature. <laughs> Might take us a bit. Also, I forgot to look at all the stuff that's on my bedside. We got all the furniture. Um, okay, there's no... F I thought maybe there might have been a fridge hidden in here. Like there was in Magical Melody. So they all they give us is a box, cabinet, and bookshelf. Um, I guess our bed isn't really included. We can't change our bed. They probably give us the option to change our bed, but this is probably our default bed. We can't, we can't move it anywhere. It's just stuck in this corner forever. But that's not what I was looking for. I wanted to go to my options. Um, okay, yes. <laughs> Message speed. Set text speed. I want fast message speed. Alright, uh, sound effects, music, I think, hopefully, hopefully the music sounds alright. Um, I know the intro is kind of loud, but, um, the overall game audio is pretty soft, so. I try to boost things up so you can hear the, the background music, it's very nice, I like background music. And this game has a nice relaxing soundtrack that I like. Alright. Away we go to Harmonica Town. Let's hurry up and go. We want to make sure we get there early before before uh, buildings start closing down. Although it's still pretty early in, in the day. And yeah, the clock is moving very slowly, as you can see. <laughs> I think in this game, like every in-game hour is three real-life minutes. When usually it's like, one game hour is one real life minute. So yeah, the time moves very slowly. You can do a lot in a day in this game. But consequently, it also means like, doing one full day in this game also takes you like an hour of real life time. That looks like the town hall, Gabrielle! Maybe you should go see Mayor Hamilton. Alright. Well, this is a very, very unique design town. Kind of reminds me of like a Mediterranean town. All the buildings are so like squished together. Alright. <laughs> a picture of yourself on the wall, Hamilton, really. <laughs> That's me, the mayor. Gabe, Gabriel, I've been waiting for you. Welcome. This is Harmonica Town Hall. You can buy land plots here. Why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town? Come back when you're done. Don't forget to visit the church on the top of the hill. Okie doke. Alright, so yeah, he's not going to give us the toolbox. Oh, Gab- Gabriel. Did you visit Simon's photos? Yeah, he's gonna make us talk to every single person before giving us his toolbox. 
find a sign with a camera on it. Come back when you're done meeting everyone. Hello, people are trapped. The people, people are, tra are trapped and cannot get out of the Garmin Mine District. You evil, lazy men. Ugh, all right. Well, this is town hall. I can't really buy anything yet. Although, even if I wanted to buy land plots, there's no way I can afford a new piece of land with a thousand gold. All right, time to walk into every building that there is. Um. Simon's photos. Open 8 to 1700 hours. They use military time in this game. is closed on Sundays and holidays. Oh yeah, every store in Harmonica Town is closed on Sundays. Oh, hello there. Another familiar face. Welcome. You must be the newcomer. It's always nice to see a young new face in town. Oh, I'm I'm Gabriel. A ranch, huh? Well, good luck. My name's Simon. I've been running this photo studio for the past 15 years. Oh, well, Simon is no longer running a general store like he was doing in Tree of Tranquility. Now he has a photo studio. It's actually kind of a new feature in this game. There's lots of great views around this town. I can give you a tour sometime if you'd like. Oh, as a welcome present, I'll give you my old camera. You got old camera! Now you can take pictures! You can take portraits here too, so come again. Cool! Yeah, this is like kind of a neat feature in this game. Received- oh, received a book. Received photography made easy book. Check your bookshelf. Camera was added to your help menu. So yeah, we now have this camera. Um, it allows us to go into first person view, which we couldn't do before. And yeah, we can take a look around. And we can actually take pictures. Oh, let's see, zoom in. <laughs> zoom out. Uh, you can set yourself a timer. And uh, try to get in the shot and like pose with them. Like, hi. <laughs> and you actually have a photo album that you can look at all the pictures that you, you've taken. Um, probably should delete this one. Oh, I could delete it later. And you can also... You can also buy, um, picture frames as well from here. And, yeah, you can put your pictures on, like, a a frame or on a poster and you can hang them up around your house. So you can have kind of a lot of fun with this. I might take some cute pictures maybe of like my animals or something or nice views and just put them around my house. Um, also you can do portraits here. Um, I don't know if I want to click on this. <laughs> just have a portrait of you 100 gold. No thank you. Yeah you can take you can take portraits of yourself at the moment. When you get married, you can take a picture of you and your spouse, and then once you have kids, you can take a whole family portrait. And you can hang that around your house and make it look a little bit more homey. Um, let's see, can I actually look at the wall? I think they don't allow you to look <laughs> at, at this wall over here, because te technically this wall is just darkness, but they allow you to look at everything else. Look at the other three walls. Yeah, there's just darkness over there. What's up here? All right, there's just me investigating everything. Um, yeah, I guess this is where we take our just <laughs> take our portraits. I guess you could just make your own. Like, hi. <laughs> Although, I think if you do take a portrait, you actually get to like pick different poses and different backgrounds and make it look nice. Alright, enough investigating here. We'll probably come back here later, but not anytime soon. Alright, next place to investigate. That was Simon's photos. Let's go on to the next building. Sonata Tailoring. Open 8 to... What is that? that? That would technically be 8 to like 8 p.m. Alright, the tailors is open at the start of the game.
Oh, you too. Where's the other one? What should we do? We barely have anything to sell. I, I, I don't know. Oh my, I thought our sign said closed. Uh, I'm sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, I see. Meeting everyone, eh? I'm Shelly. This is Candace, my granddaughter. It it's nice to meet you. We started this tailoring shop, but we're almost out of material for clothes. If only Luna were here, she'd fix everything. But Luna, she still has her studies. I know, but we can't satisfy our customers if this is all we have. Oh. We can't meet Luna yet. I'm sure wool and yarn will be sold in the markets again soon. I hope so. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean f for you to hear our venting. Well, we'll be open soon. We don't have much, but come on by and take a look. Receive a yen for yarn book. Check your bookshelf. Alright, not much. Oh, actually, you can actually buy things here. I, I kind of desperately want to buy some new clothes. I... Because, you know, my favorite color is, like, green. I kind of want to buy the green outfit, but I gotta save my money for other things at the beginning. I gotta, I gotta resist the clothes. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot more clothing options in this game as well, so this, this inventory is going to increase greatly over the course of the game. Um, there's a lot of hats. Hats actually have, um, an additional significance in this game. A lot of the bachelors and bachelorettes will have, like, a favorite hat that you can, you can wear, and they'll, like, actually comment on it, and I think you get, like, a little bit of bonus affection if they do mention the hat that you're wearing. So, some, some of the options might be, like, a little obvious. We're gonna meet, we're gonna meet a boy, a bachelor that's, like, wearing a fiery bandana. He also likes it if you wear the fire bandana, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't, I'm not gonna buy anything yet, no. Ugh, let's see, maybe I could talk to you. Whoops, I didn't, no. Put away the camera. <laughs> the stop tag taking pictures of everyone. Good morning. <sighs> if only Luna would come back. Ah, uh, but what about your other granddaughter? She's trying her best. Uh, morning. I hope we'll be able to get more products soon. Don't worry. I'll probably fix everything for you. Also, try to investigate everyone's kitchens because... A lot of times there's recipes hidden here. There's a memo. You found herbal tea recipe. I probably would have discovered that on my own because, yeah, herbal tea is gonna be something that I'm likely always gonna be carrying around either to gift for people or as a source of caffeine because, um, yeah, we're gonna be afflicted with the sleepiness status a lot in this game. Um, well, someone really likes penguins here, jeez. <laughs> What's up with the penguin plushies and the posters? Um, I'm guessing this is Luna's bed. Very, very colorful. Alright. Oh, that's a cute looking lamp. I like how, I like the designs of a lot of the rooms here. You can really see kind of different personalities. What is that? What is that a picture of? <laughs> you just have a picture of a sheep in your house, alright. I guess they, they kind of worship sheep here. That That's what they run their business on. Wool. Okie doke. Let's go to the next place. Oh, cutscene. Right in front. Hello, I don't think we've met. Are you the newcomer? Yes, my name's Gabriel. Well, Gabriel, nice to meet you. The bar is closed right now, but how about some tea? Oh, you're gonna treat me? How nice! Ooh, this place looks 
fancy. Got some instruments in the background. Is this a visitor? Yeah, Gabrielle's in town to start a ranch. I thought I'd at least offer Gabrielle a cup of tea for coming all this way. We're pretty much out of supplies for drinks here. The ship isn't sailing, so we can't restock. Oh. It's like this whole town is slowly withering. I've heard rumors that the goddess tree is dying. Yes, and the water and the wind seem so lifeless. What can we do? Well, everything seems so depressing. Well, we still have a we still have to go find a way to go on. I'm Kathy, and that's my father Hayden. I own the bar. Nice to meet you. We may not have any cocktails to serve, but come on by when you're free. You're always welcome. Oh, what what nice people. <laughs> oh. So, okay. This time in this world, um, the bar actually has its own building. It, they don't share it with the inn anymore. They actually have their own their own joint, which is nice. A nice little place here for music, and people can enjoy their drinks at night. I don't think we can buy anything right now. Yeah, Hayden's working there. I think, yeah, I think this place is only open in like the evening and night. We could buy some cocktails. Very limited inventory now, though. Hello. I want to hurry up and open up the store. Yo, I wish I could serve cocktails already. Also, is there anything in your kitchen? I don't know. Just, no, no, no hidden recipes. Just a lot of, lot of alcohol. I guess technically this isn't a house. Even though... Nah, it is kind of a house. There are rooms here. Um, I'm guessing this is Hayden's? Hayden's room? Does he just have a picture of his daughter up on the wall? What does that even say? My... Was, was Kathy a, a model on a magazine at some point? She is a very stylish cowgirl. Um, this looks like this potentially could be Kathy's room. There's like, perfume here? Although there's two beds. Oh! Okay, yeah, now I kind of remember. There's, there's someone else that's gonna come live with her, I think. That's why there's two beds here. She's gonna kind of get a a roommate, too. It's gonna be a girl, don't worry. <laughs> no, no sleeping in the same room. Before marriage in this game. Alrighty, that was the brass bar. Kind of a nice atmosphere in there. Uh, where do I want to go next? Fishery, beach house, beach and lighthouse. So let's go over here towards the pier. I'm um, just going through the fishery. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. Welcome. Although, there's not much to sell you. I'm not here to buy fish. What? What? You're not here to buy any fish? Oh, I see. You're that new rancher. I'm just saying hi. I'm the fisherman, Ozzy. The fish around here are usually tasty and plentiful. Just, yay. Just give him a, a nice clap. But ever since the light in the lighthouse went out, no ships have been able to sail. So I can barely get any fish. It's made business pretty rough. If that lighthouse doesn't get fixed soon, I'll be out of business. Oh no, what can I do to help? I don't know what's wrong with this town these days. Hmm. Where are Toby and Paolo? They're my son and nephew. Maybe they're over by the flute fields water mill. That's a good hint. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be very vague where to find them. I'm sure they're just as sad and about this miserable fishing situation. Sorry to be so grim. I just wish I had some good fish to offer you. That's okay. Here, at least take these. They're good grilled. What? You're giving me free fish? 
Just in a box. Here we go. We got three char. You can cook fish recipes. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Oh. Received fishing guidebook. Check your bookshelf. All right. Thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the fish. It's that I mean, free stuff is free stuff, you know. Hmm. Uh, do you have like a restaurant here? They have like tables. It looks like you can buy goby and sardine. Very cheap. Very cheap fish. You can also buy recipes here. Um, yeah, a little bit different. Different way to acquire recipes in this game. I know in Tree of Tranquility, you could have just like bought like every every cooked recipe, like nearly every cooked recipe food from like the restaurants and like at festivals, and it would like add it to your recipe list if you like at some point owned owned the cooked good. But yeah, in this game you can you have to buy the recipes, or you can discover it yourself if you know what the ingredients are. Yeah, yeah, recipes are pretty cheap. If you don't feel like hunting down, hunting down ingredients. All right. Uh, check this kitchen. Yep, there's something in the sink. There's a memo. You found a grilled giant arowana recipe. Is that like a kingfish giant arowana? Well, we found the we found the recipe for it. So I guess we don't have to grill one up ourselves. Uh, their houses... Can't really tell whose room belongs to who. Uh, actually this looks like this would be a little kid's... A little kid's bedside. Based off the robot and the blocks and the slingshot! But yeah, every- oh, and little tiny shoes. Little tiny shoes there. It seems like everyone in this family is into fishing. And I guess maybe diving? There's some oxygen tanks here. We can't dive in this game though, as cool as it would be. Right, there's another room here. Um. Someone's been hitting the bottle lately. <laughs> Who does this belong to? Whose room does this belong to? Is it Ozzy's? Oh wait. You know what? It's probably Pascal's. Wait, aww. Pascal has a picture of he has a picture of Ellie here. That's really sweet. Yeah, unfortunately Ellie Ellie isn't in this game. Um she was kind of a cameo character in Trade Tranquility for like the Mineral Town characters. So Ellie and Grey aren't in this universe, which is kinda sad, but that's kinda nice that they have like a picture of her here. I kinda wanna <laughs> let's see, let's see if I can take a picture. Picture of a picture. Okay, there she is. <laughs> maybe I'll <laughs> maybe I'll hang that in my house. <laughs> Just have a picture of Ellie hanging up. Like, what is this? A newspaper. Um, I'm guessing <laughs> maybe it's a picture of a cow. I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's kind of cool. Looks like Pascal also plays the bass cello. Everyone's so musically gifted here. Alright, next place we want to go to, let's go down the pier. There's actually some people here and it is kind of easy to miss them because you wouldn't think to go to the end of the pier. Ships can't make it into the port. It's getting harder and harder on the end. I know, honey. What should we do? Hello. Hello. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Oh, you're the new rancher. The mayor was talking about. Nice to meet you. I'm Jake. You can find me at the Ocarina Inn. Feel free to come and visit. It's uh, right over there. Wherever there is. I'm Colleen. Nice to meet you. I know the town is lacking in energy right now. But it's nice to see someone young move here. I'll try to get things moving along 
Well, good luck, Gabrielle. Alrighty, that's the people at the pier. I don't think there's anyone at the lighthouse, but we can check. Doo -doo. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's here. Th there's a cat! <laughs> Let me check inside, just in case. Hello? Anyone here? Nope. No one's here, although... Yeah, this, this will become significant later, just not at this point. So don't worry about it. Do do do. Oh, there's a cat there too. I kind of want to befriend this cat, actually. <laughs> I, I kind of feel sorry for it. And I'll probably, I don't know, I'll tell the story later, but... I do have some fish in my bag that Ozzy gave me. Um, I'm absolutely gonna do this little trick. Um, you can take a second Wii remote, and you can actually rub, you can rub, um, characters and animals, and you get a little bit of bonus affection for doing that. And then we can, you know, like, pet it. And, yeah, give it a fish. There you go. Oh, good kitty. Yeah. I, I kind of feel bad for that cat. <laughs> like, just being alone on that little piece of land in the middle of the ocean. Well, yeah. I'm not sure how much bonus affection rubbing people with the Wii Remote gives you. No one can really give me a definite answer. There's another cat. Hi, kitty. Orange tabby. Um, no one can really give me a definite answer on that. So yeah, it's either like an affection modifier or like a set amount of affection points. All right, Ocarina Inn. What they just what they just talked about. And it's you. <laughs> oh, that won't do at all. Start over. Oh, Granny, you're too hard on me. The Trying to teach her to cook? Oh, are you the newcomer? Sorry, you had to see that. <laughs> I was just beating my granddaughter. I'm Yolanda, the chef here. Nice to meet you. I'm Maya. I'm being trained as a cook. Actually, being drilled is more like it. <laughs> You're gonna find out Maya is a terrible cook. Gabrielle, huh? Nice to meet you! Lately, the stove's fire has been weak. It's impossible to cook anything decent. Yeah, and we can't get good raw ingredients. But everything will be back to, be back to normal soon enough. Just wait. That's the spirit. Here's a welcome present! Eat it when you're hungry! Did- did you make this? I'm not sure if I want to eat it. You got a cookie! Eat it when you're tired. I hope Yolanda make th made this. Or else- or else if you eat it, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah, that's kinda nice. They gave us- They gave us a cookie. Um, you could sell it or- I'll, pro I'll probably keep it. For some stamina- emergency stamina recovery. It is- it will probably be nice to do that to recover our stamina. I'm gonna just look at all your houses, or all your rooms. Um, guessing this room belongs to Jake and Colleen, cause there's like a vanity and alcohol bottles here. <laughs> Unless, I don't know, I mean, maybe Maya's hitting the bottle too. Two beds in here. Hmm, more, more posters of penguins. I'm not sure who... This is probably Maya's. I'm not sure if someone else will live here too as well. Um, I think Yolanda actually has her own house. Surprisingly, even though <laughs> there are a lot of rooms here. Yeah, there there are a lot of rooms at the inn. Nice, nice cozy. This is big beds. I guess that is kind of normal for a hotel to have like full-size beds. So you roll around and- oh no, this one has tiny beds. 
There are a lot of rooms here. A lot of people could can room up in here if they wanted to. Also, how do you open that wardrobe? <laughs> you can't you can't get your clothes out. The bed's covering it. Hello. Good afternoon. My mother and my wife both seem to be in a funk these days. But it's not just them. This whole land is going through rough times. Hello, we can buy some food here. There'll probably be many instances where I buy food here. Um, although I don't think they have anything that I want at the moment. Well, definitely not at the moment. I don't think we're going to be befriending anyone for a while. Just because my main prerogative at the beginning is going to be trying to make money. And then once I have like a good steady source of income, I'll start, I'll start befriending people. Let's chat with them. No boats coming in. People have haven't been arriving. Our fire is weak as well. We can't even cook properly. I don't know what we're going to do. That's kind of weird. That is very weird for like the fire just to be weak for no apparent reason. <laughs> Oh man, what's next? Hi Maya, I chat with you. Hi! The stove's fire is so weak right now, it's hard to make good food. Alright, uh, is this someone's house? No, oh, it's vacant. Oh, I think this actually might be a house that we can, we can purchase ourselves. This as a townhouse. <laughs> I don't think I've ever bought the townhouses, they're ridiculously expensive. And let's see. Oh, Corral Clinic. Let's actually hop in here. Oh, no smoking poster. Hello. I haven't seen you before. What's wrong? Do you need to see the doctor? Uh, no, I'm just here to say hello. Oh, you're the new rancher. I'm Irene. Nice to meet you. What? I look worried. Well, aren't you observant? There's a lot on my mind right now. Well, I'd hate to bother you with our problems already. But do you know of the goddess tree? No. It's a divine tree that grows at the goddess spring where the harvest goddess lives. That tree protects this land. Lately, that tree has looked like it's dying. And it's said that the tree is part of the Harvest Goddess herself. That's true. The Harvest Goddess is really worried. Oh, I should tell you. My grandson, Dr. Jin, is away studying medicine right now. Be careful not to get sick or hurt yourself. There's only so much I can do for you without him. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, take care. Yeah, no, that's no bueno. <laughs> oh, Candace, what the heck are you doing here? <laughs> are you studying medicine too? Okay, she sells some stamina recovery items. Cold medicine, which is actually going to be very important in this game. You can get colds, um, supposedly, by standing out in the rain too long. I've never gotten a cold from standing out in the rain, but I have gotten colds. A different method <laughs> by inhaling inhaling gas and it's a really annoying status condition stay awake stay awake's are really expensive I prefer just to make herbal tea and that is a suitable source of caffeine to, to reduce drowsiness um you have a recipe for green tea here good afternoon hey there don't work too hard staying up late is bad for you let's take a look around here Charts. Charts here just laying around. Medicine. Uh, got some hospital beds. I'm, just, I'm assuming these are for patients and not for people. 
Look at this, looks like someone's room. Is this Irene's room? This also has... This also looks like it would be a woman's room. With the vanity. I don't know, maybe it's Jin's room. This Jin's room is up here. Yeah, this looks like this would be Jin's room. A lot of books here. And some Pontata roots, too. <laughs> no, don't, don't take out the fish. Um, it looks like... Looks like Dr. Chin's trying to grow his own Pontata roots. Some interesting things on the wall. Some herbs. Bottles with random stuff in it. Random picture of sunflower field. Some scenery. Yeah, this is, there's so much to look at in this game. <laughs> I'm sorry this is taking so long. This is so much to look and explore. Everyone's- everyone's, like, room is, like, kind of unique. They put a lot of- I feel like they put a lot of effort in this game. Alright, next house. Um, we don't need to go there. That's the school. There's no reason to go to school. This is actually Hamilton's house right here. We'll go there later. Hamilton's not in there. Um, this house... is also locked. We can't really do anything there. Although, is this gonna become important later in the story? We are gonna go there a lot. So, yeah, just don't worry about it now. The church grounds! Oh, there's a nice little church on a hilltop. You can actually kind of see Garmin Mines in the background. And here's the church. Also more animals here. Um, yeah, they have the, they have the Great Pyrenees here, the dog! And also the black cat. These are... Both, both these animals in Tree of Tranquility, they were located on the island and it was really annoying to try to like befriend them because he had to go all the way to the island. Which didn't make sense, like why would you put a Great Pyrenees on a hot island? <laughs> Who is this? Oh, you. <laughs> didn't mean to sound so angry. <laughs> You're for comfort again today. Yeah, this is also another character that has been changed between Tree of Tranquility and this game. Um, yeah, he used to be a pharmacist in Tree of Tranquility, but I guess now he has dropped out of pharmacy school and has now chosen a, a vocation as a priest. Uh, yes, it's already been a year since I lost him. Sometimes it seems like a long time ago. Sometimes, like it was only yesterday. Nice to meet you. You must be the rancher the mayor was talking about. I'm Perry. I'm a priest in training. Where's the master priest? I should go now. Take care. That was Mira. She lost her husband about one year ago. She was absolutely heartbroken. She's a little better now, though. I guess time heals all wounds, or most of them anyway. She still doesn't know, really know what to do with herself, though. I wish I could be more helpful, but I still have a lot to learn. If you see her, please try talking to her. You may have better luck. All right, we'll have to try to cheer her up. Hello, Perry. Good afternoon. I'm still learning my trade. The mayor supports me a lot. <laughs> Is the mayor the master priest? I mean, he did officiate all the weddings in Tree of Tranquility. <laughs> does, he, uh, does he have a, a minister's license? I think this is Perry's room. Very... Kind of Spartan. Just has a suitcase here. Did he like arrive here recently, or is he just living out of his luggage? Yeah, he is. So yeah, it's pretty Spartan in here. Just like some boxes, but at least he has an altar dedicated to the Harvest Goddess, and he decorates it with flowers. All right. Uh, let's see this door. Nope. It's locked! What could be in there? Nothing that you need to worry about now. Also, you probably saw some interesting uh, stained glass here. Here's one of the goddess. This is actually a pretty, 
pretty, uh, stained glass of the goddess. Some other stained glass here. Like, different- it's, it's kinda- it's kinda offsetting to have, like, two different styles. These are in the Church and Trade of Tranquility. <laughs> this is kinda their new style now. Um, also, there also- there's also a new deity here. You probably saw him in the opening. But yeah, it seems to be some sort of red-haired- red-haired deity? That they worship here as well. Kinda interesting. Hey, Mira, you're still here. Hello. My life seemed to stop when my husband passed away. Thinking even walking was difficult. Oh, it's okay. There's nothing we can do to comfort her right now. We'll just have to wait a little longer. Alright, we've almost met everyone in town. Um, there's one person that's hidden away. Over here. <laughs> you have to- you have to walk over here towards this alcove. There's a nice view here. <sighs> Hello! Um, I don't think we've met. It must be the new rancher everyone's talking about. Mm. Running a ranch on your own? That sounds tough. Good luck. You are sighing a lot, mister. I'm the bar's cook. But we can't get any ingredients. Or customers, for that matter. Without a good cooking fire, I couldn't cook anything decent anyway. What a joke. More sighing. Anyway. I guess I should introduce myself. I'm Chase. I'm a cook at the Brass Bar. Oh! Yeah, sparkly's coming out of him. <laughs> we finally met our first bachelor in the game. And, yeah, he cooks at the brass bar. Well, I guess he doesn't cook at the end. The bar is open, but we're not serving any food right now. Once we start serving food again, you should come by. Well, what? We've met everyone in town! <laughs> Let's go back and see the mayor! Alright, good. Thank you, Finn, for telling me that I completed my objectives. <laughs> Alright, back to the town hall. Let's go. Man, we've been going for so long. <laughs> I do want to get the day done, though. This is going to be a super long episode. I apologize. But yeah, I, I at least want to get the first day done. I know it's like taking so long because we've been talking to everyone. A lot of cutscenes. Seems you met everyone. Well done! I hope you've become friends with everyone soon. Oh yes, I have a favor to ask you, Gabrielle. If you run into Bo, can you give him this? Finally! <laughs> the bridge in to the common mines needs to be repaired. Bo will need this to do it. Why are you holding it? And why haven't you given it to him? ASAP. <laughs> You got Bo's toolbox. This is an important item. When you want to give an item to someone, hold it out in your hands just like I did. You can give presents the same way. Well, go give that toolbox to Bo. Alright, will do. However, I do want to go to Flute Fields before those stores start closing as well. So we're going to be running in the opposite direction. Towards the farming stores. There's some things I want to buy. Some people you can meet too. There's a lot of people there. And yeah, eventually we're gonna have to go there anyway. So let's just take care of it now. And right away we go. Walking, walking, walking. Very, I, I mean, at least the world's very beautiful. <laughs> it's a big world, but at least it's, it's very beautiful. Kind of wish we can change our camera view though. They kind of have set camera views. That's what I kind of missed about A Wonderful Life. Is that you, you were free to swivel the camera around and look around. In like first person view. Yeah. 
I guess, I guess if we had free reign of the camera, it might stress out the game a bit. <laughs> We've already experienced some lag um, when there's like too much going on in, on the screen. Alright, to flute fields. Do, do, more walking across a bridge. Do, do. All right, we see two kind of farm areas here. Um, first, we're gonna go down here though. Um, next is water mill. Uh, I don't need to go in the mill quite yet, although it will be important later. You can go in there if you want to. Yes, by the water mill is another character. I think Ozzy mentioned this, that like he didn't know where, he's, where his son was. He might be by the flute fields water mill. Oh, what? Well, hello. You must be the newcomer. My name is Toby. Nice to meet you. Everyone's so polite here. You may have already heard about this, but things are pretty grim in this town. The land has just become lifeless. This river used to be way stronger. The water wheel barely moves now. Oh, well, your eyes opened. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you have green eyes. The fishing's not great right now, but it's still fun to fish. This is my old fishing pole. Give it a try sometime. And you already have it wrapped up, waiting to give it to someone. You received an old fishing rod and beginning fishing book. Happy fishing! Received fishing rod as added to your help menu. Okay. And there's a rabbit here. Hi. Hello. Also, this is someone's house here. I don't think they're in right now, though. Can I look at it? No, it's vacant. <laughs> Can I buy that one too? I might actually be able to buy that house. Uh, there's... This house does belong to someone, though. This is Julius's house, but I don't think he's in right now. I think he's somewhere else. Yeah, it's locked. Alright, time is... Time is flowing. Uh, let's actually go over there first. Gonna go to this farm over here. Oh. A little cuts in here. These these fields are pretty huge. They have big pastures here. I know it's also kind of nice. Oh, here's Horn Ranch. Come on, let's go, Gabriel. Now it's also kind of nice is that we can we can take pictures here and you can actually see like animals in the background grazing. Just thought that was kind of a nice touch. Alright, let's head into the store though. We don't want things to close up. Can't fart around too much. <sighs> uh, more sighing. Oh, hello there. Oh, are you the new person my husband said was starting up a ranch? I see. I wish you luck, but you should know things have been pretty rough lately. It's been tough. We only have a few animals to sell. My husband might have already told you this, but the wind has been very weak lately. There's not a lot of wind to power the big windmill. It's hard to even make animal feed. Hmm. Oh, dear me! I've done nothing but complain since we've met! I need to cheer up! That's the spirit. Um, Gabrielle, was it? Good luck to you. Here, take this. You'll need a sickle on your ranch. Use it on grass to collect fodder for your animals. Oh my goodness, thank you so much! 
Got sickle, use it to cut weeds and grass. They actually give it give it to us on the first day of the game, versus many days into the game. I'm Hannah. I've been working at this ranch for years. If you have any questions, just come and ask me. Alright, oh, real real powerful go-getter woman. Sickle was added to your help menu. Alright, there's actually a few things I wanna buy here. Um I like could buy livestock here, but uh, I can actually afford <laughs> I can actually afford some of these right now. I can buy a chick or a duckling. Um yeah, I do need to save my money now though. There there are other things I wanna buy first. Um they sell tools here. Miscellaneous, they have feed, and they also sell some recipes here as as well. well these are kinda easy recipes though to, to make yourself. Um alright, I need I need one decent milk. Let's buy one of those. And I am going to need some fodder off the bat, so let's actually get three of those. Alright, that should be good for now. Uh, should I investigate your kitchen? Do you have anything? Nothing? Oh, okay. They don't... There's no recipe here. You would think they'd have a recipe hidden here. Yes, not, not now. I know the recipes do kind of change up each season, so do 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 catch do catch do check people's kitchens every season to see if you can find yourself another memo. Uh, this looks like it's probably Hannah's Hannah's and Kane's room, and it looks like this probably belongs to Renee. We haven't technically met her yet, but we know of her. <laughs> she did pop up a lot in uh, the intro. The introduction cutscene. I think she's actually the the canon wife of this game. And also Trade Tranquility, because her son's always like featured everywhere. <laughs> oh, there she is. Sheesh. I haven't seen you before. Oh, my dad told me about you. You must be Gabrielle. Our animals have been so lethargic lately. They used to be so much more active. It's hard to get them to leave the barn now. Oops. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't complain to some in front of someone I just met. I'm gonna cheer up now. I should introduce myself. My name is Renee. I live here on this ranch. Nice to meet you. A ranch is a lot of work, but it's really rewarding. Let us know if you need any help, and good luck! Alright, another bachelorette met. Hi, Kane. I th we technically already met you at the beginning, so there's no introduction for you. How you doing? Got a good farm going yet? I mean, I just started. <laughs> I haven't even finished talking to people yet. The big windmill. Is there anything in here? Uh, <laughs> just a bunch of chickens? Um, why are there a bunch of chickens in the windmill? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, hello, Gabrielle. I'm fixing our coop right now. That's why all these chickens are here right now. Ugh. When it's fixed, the chickens will go back to the coop. You can't come inside until then. Sorry. No, I guess this is the way. Our, this is their way of uh, blocking our our access to the windmill at the beginning. Oh yeah, I guess we'll come back later. Uh, let's check out the barn. Check out their barn. See if anything is in here. Oh, yeah, we can get it. We can get this on the first day. Hello. Hey, Gabrielle. How are you finding ranching? I mean, I haven't really done anything yet. <laughs> it's a lot of work, huh? Most people don't realize how hard it is before they try it. Why, you're so buff. Say, how would you like a calf? What? Free calf? They weren't this generous before. <laughs> 
Your first calf is a big step as a rancher. When your calf grows up, it'll produce milk. And if you can become friends with it, you can even ride it. What? I can ride a cow in this game? Hmm. You say I'm not ready or give me the calf. Please give me the calf. I think I'm ready. <laughs> even though I have no grass to feed it. <laughs> That's why I bought a few pieces of fodder today. All right, which cow do you want? Hmm. All right, they actually give you the choice the choice to pick a unique color if you want. Um, I would probably pick either the black calf or the brown calf. Um, the black and white calf you can buy at Horn Ranch. It's the default cow color. And in this game, unlike Tree of Tranquility, you can't save scum to get yourself a different colored animal. The only way you can get a black or a brown calf is if you you breed one of your current cows with the Miracle Potion and then you can save scum. You can save scum uh, the night before it gives birth, and if it's not born the color that you want, then you can reload and try again. So yeah, I'm gonna pick. I think I'm actually gonna pick the black calf. Um, I always tend to pick the black calf in this game. I think it looks cute. I want this calf. All right, here you go. You have to name it though. Alright, what to name this beast of mine? Keith? <laughs> Why is that the default name? <laughs> what other defaults do they have? Mimi, Toby, Nelson, some of these aren't even girl names. Hobbs, Charlie, Will, Tatiana, Andre, Natasha, Chris, Locke, Nicole, Anita, Hein, Natalia, Laura, Anna, Karen, Louise, Edward, Howard, <laughs> Henry. Alright, looks like a lot of these are kind of mixed up too, so we're getting repeats now. Alright, um, I'm not gonna name any of those. I always seem to name this cow in this game... Mushu. <laughs> even though... Even though Mushu is technically like Mushu pork. I just kind of like how it has the name Moo in it. It likes it. I know you'll take great care of her. And if you have any questions, just come by and ask me. Here, I'll give you this. If you brush your animals every day, you'll become much closer to them. Alright, you got a brush and a calf. Take good care of her now. Yeah, I think this, there's actually a time limit when you can get this too as well. Um, if you take too long, you won't be able to get yourself a free calf. Alright, <laughs> I also kind of like to think the brown calf stays behind and... It's just their animal. Yeah, got some grown-up animals here. You guys have two horses, a goat, and a sheep here. Alright, well, there's no one else here, so let's get out of here. We gotta head over to to the farm next. Just gotta meet those people here, and we wanna hurry, because I don't I'm not sure when they close. They might close early for all I know. Like at like 5 o'clock or something, 1700 hours. I gotta get used to military time. I mean, pretty much you just look at the time and... Like if it's past the 12 hour mark, you just subtract by 12. <laughs> Alright, here is the farm. Here's Marimba farm. Why is it so cloudy in the background? <laughs> Everywhere else was sunny. Let's check it out, Gabrielle. Alright, this is a house here as well. This is actually Chase's house, but I doubt he's in it right now. Probably comes back in the evening. Alright, let's head inside. To Marimba Farm. Uh, uh oh. Those two are angry. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I'll leave and never come back. See if I carry good for nothing, son. Wow. Look who's talking. At least make an effort to work. And you wonder why Anissa hasn't come back. Doesn't matter. Nothing will grow here, no matter what we do. The harvest goddess has abandoned us. 
Wow, you gave in to despair real quick. Are you the new rancher I've heard about? Hmm. We sell seeds here, but we don't have the same stock we used to. Oh, they kicked us out. <laughs> oh, hi. It's kind of surprising we get to meet you at the beginning. Hey, you're the newcomer, right? What's your name? Blah, 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 blah. My name is Gabrielle. Gabrielle, huh? I'm Taylor. Nice to meet you. The ones fighting in there are my dad, Craig, and my mom, Ruth. The... So you look, you look pretty spirited, though. The soil's pretty lousy these days. It's tough to grow decent crops. My dad's been pretty depressed over it. Yeah, <laughs> seems like both your parents' souls seem to have left their eyes. <laughs> At least Taylor's still sprightly. He still has his, his youthful energy. That's why I'm thinking of going off to buy seeds. My big sister Anissa left to find seeds that will grow here. But she's still not back. I'm gonna go see if there's anything I can do. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks! I appreciate the support! Are we really sending off a kid to go off by himself again? This sounds very familiar. This has definitely happened before. <laughs> here, take these. There's some seeds I've been holding on to. Oh. Oh, thanks. Free seeds. This will definitely help kickstart my farm. Got some cabbage seeds. Plant them in your field. Also, there's a dog barking in the background. May not get great results at first, but I think the soil will improve the more you plant in it. Well, good luck. See you around. Bye, little boy. Off to his doom. I hope he's okay. <laughs> it just reminds me of Tim and Save the Homeland. We're just like, Alright, bye Tim! Going on an adventure, even though you're like... You look like you're 7, slash 12 years old. Alright, um... I mean, it still looks like you have an inventory here. <laughs> you, have, you have some very crowded shelves, Ruth. So hard to go crops these days, what can we do? Alright, there's actually something I want to buy here. Um, with my remaining bit of money... Um, I want to buy a decent strawberry. I want decent strawberry and let's actually use the remaining remaining bits of our money to buy seeds. Uh, let's buy some grass seeds. Um, since we did get a cow, they don't automatically just set up a pasture for us. We actually have to grow our own grass to feed our animals. Um, I think you probably just need four, and that would probably be suitable to like feed all your animals. They do when you cut down the grass, it does give you a lot of units of fodder. So, probably don't have to go too ham on this. I'll buy six. And as my last bits of money, I'll buy some seeds. Hmm, I think I'll grow... I'll grow some lettuce. Um, lettuce does give you a good amount of money, and... It does grow in five days. There's some, there's some crops that fluctuate in days, like the cabbage grows in five to seven days, depending on the... How fertile your soil is. I'm not gonna be able to buy fertilizer right off the bat, so that's why I'm not gonna grow things like cabbage or strawberries. Strawberries I'll probably grow next year. Oh, yeah, I'll use my last bits of money to buy some lettuce. All right, that's all I can. That's all I can afford. I'm poor now. I also have some recipes here. All right, Craig. <laughs> Craig, are you? Are you drinking? What? All right, you're also hitting the bottle, I see. Can't take much more of this. Um, that's not good. You can't just drink your problems away. They don't actually go away when you do that. Craig. Uh, is there anything in their kitchen? Um. Aha, there it is. Hidden away on the dish cupboard. There's a memo here. You found a strawberry jam recipe. Only I'm not gonna be able to make until next year. All right, is there rooms? Got wow, three people sleep in this room. Um. Okay, whose room is this? 
this looks like a girl's room. I bet this is Anissa's room. She also just has three jars of jam up there for some reason. Uh, what else does she have here? Does she have- looks like she has some- is that like a packet of herbs? Some- maybe some seeds also. Looks like she likes to make herself tea a lot. But yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing this is Anissa's room. Why is she the privileged daughter that gets her own room? <laughs> Poor Taylor has to sleep with his mom and dad in the same room, no privacy. No, one, no wonder he's so... Like, I'm gonna go outside, I'm sick of you. <laughs> I'm gonna do something with my life. Alright, I think we finally got everything we need. We can finally start our long hike back to Bo to give him the toolbox. <laughs> Ugh, walking back we go. At least you can enjoy the music. I hope you can hear the music. I, yeah, I did boost it up as much as I think is is necessary. And hopefully my voice isn't drowned out. I don't know if there's gonna be other bits of the game where like the music is too loud, <laughs> like the mines. I remember the mines were really loud in Tree of Tranquility. <laughs> I'm just like garbled. I'm just, I was just like garbled voice in the background while gas was pouring out and cracks were forming. Alright, is it gonna- am I gonna hit a loading zone soon? <laughs> Jeez, that took a while. Back to fairy farm. Let's actually say hi to my cow, I probably gotta feed her. I wanna feed her before she decides to go to sleep. Do 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 and I'll take care of these crops at the end of the day. I don't think Bo I don't think Bo goes to sleep. I think he's kinda stuck by the bridge. So I don't think you have to worry about him disappearing on you on the first day. Alright. Cow. There you go. Um okay, I have to set it down. In front of your face. Alright, let's give you a little pet. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's give you a little brush. Brush, 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 brush. There we go. <clears throat> okay, you've been fed, you've been... You've been brushed and talked to. You should be good for the day. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. All right, back to towards Garmin Mines. Let's go. I'm also getting very hungry. <laughs> How long have we been going? Oh my goodness, an hour and thirty minutes. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> I'm recording this like first thing in the morning before I've eaten breakfast. Alright, where is where the heck is the toolbox? And all these items that I've got today. Give You've brought me back my toolbox! Thank you very much! What the heck was that sound? <laughs> Did you fart? Oh, how embarrassing. I'm sorry about that. I've been doing so many repairs, I haven't had time to eat much. Same. I'm hungry too. <laughs> I like how Finn's just cowering behind my back. You'll bring me food? Really? You're so thoughtful. Let's see then. I like to have milk and a strawberry. That's not a meal. <laughs> I thought you'd like want something from the inn. I would have been like, too bad. You're gonna just take what I give you. Thank you. I think once I eat, I'll be able to work harder. All right. Well, luckily we had the foresight to uh, well, that not that menu. We already had the foresight to buy these items ahead of time, so we don't have to walk all the way back to flute fields. Wow. Thank you very much. I'm so hungry. Here's what I like to eat. And that's the last remaining item we have to give him. One strawberry. 
Thank you. I think once I eat, I'll be able to work harder. Alright, once again, it's in the wrong menu. Use the ring menu. Alright, then we got one decent strawberry. Yeah, otherwise... You definitely want to buy this, otherwise it would take you weeks to get you the- th to get these items. See, so yeah, I think our cow doesn't become an adult. It's gonna take forever for it to become an adult, is all is what I can say. I think how many days is it? Um It's fifteen days for a cow to become an adult. Or a calf to become an adult. And yeah, the days move really slowly in this game, so it will feel like an eternity. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now that I'm full, I'll get started on the repairs. Thank goodness we can buy it buy these at the stores. <laughs> when the bridge is fixed. I'll come and let you know. Alrighty, so it'll take about a day, and then we can finally head up to that district and Finn can finally stop bothering us. Alright, I think we're finally... We've finally done everything we need to do today. We can finally start farming. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go plant some things. Take care of our crops that are already there as well. That took... that only took forever. Man. Man, oh man. Gotta go get my tools back, too. Put away some things. Ka ka! What are you doing, crow? Do 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 Hello, birdies! Chase away all the birds. Alright, home. Okay, I was like, what? What went wrong with the music? Does <laughs> it, like... Stopped and started again. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I need the sickle. Um, I probably will need the brush every day. Um, I guess I'll. S should I sell the char? Maybe I should sell the char. I do want to befriend the cat, but I can always find more fish. I mean, there is an ocean full of fish next to the cat. Um, camera. Hmm. I know it is kind of tempting to keep the camera because it's like so much fun to like look around with it. But I will need backspace soon. Alright, lettuce, grass. Not sure if I'll plant all of this. Might only. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to go too ham on the crops at first. Because I don't really have a cheap way to recover my stamina other than sleeping. So I might have to go gentle. Go gentle on the crops at first. Alright, let's see our field finally! Alright, we have some things we can harvest. Got some decent turnips that are ready. They also give us some other crops here, some flowers. These will turn out to be potatoes. I do recommend saving the potatoes. Because <laughs> my memory is just screaming at me that we need to save those for something. I forgot what, but I remember... I remember um, getting to that point in the game and needing a potato and I couldn't get one because you can only grow them in spring. I don't think there's like... I don't think anyone sells a potato. <laughs> Unless it's spring. Just, I know there's some crops that you can uh... that you can... grow in off... or some crops that you can purchase in off seasons from... from Marimba Farm but potato is not one of them. Alright, I'm actually gonna plant my grass over here. I'll make sure they're not too close to the trees, because I think the trees need a need a, a space around them for them to grow. I will chop down these trees though. They are nice. They gave you five cherry trees at the beginning. However, um I mean I think you get two cherries from them by like bumping into them in the summertime. But otherwise, the other three seasons of the game, they don't really give you anything of value. They kind of just hog up a lot of space that you could be using to plant crops and may be making money every season. So I will probably chop those down. Ooh, we found some gold. Found some gold in the dirt. Alright, I think I'll plant- I'll plant the cabbage seeds. They take a little bit longer to grow. There you go. Do, do, do. Bum, 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 bum. And they 
this will probably be this will probably kill my stamina <laughs> just watering this, so. Yeah, this will probably all I'll take care of for now. Um, eventually the other crops will will grow up and I don't need to worry about those anymore. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Water the potatoes. And... I think these are actually little tiny cabbages here. Here's three cabbages to start off with. Water these flowers. I don't know why I decided to stagger them out like this. Um, yeah, there's no, like, improved growth rate for crops by having them spaced out in a checkerboard pattern. I guess this is just for aesthetics. Yeah, the only way to make crops grow faster is to fertilize. Fertilize the square. Alright, um, I do have a little bit of extra energy. Hmm, maybe I'll try fishing. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't kill my stamina. I don't want to die my first day. Um, but I think in the evening over here in this pond over here, you might be able to catch some catfish and they're worth some change. I could definitely use the change. But I'm not sure. Catfish are technically like a rare fish, though, so it might it might not be possible for me to reel it in. <laughs> oh, I caught something. Clip, 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 clip. I caught not a catfish, but I caught a carp. It's it's huge. Um. <laughs> yeah, that kind of that kind of took out a lot. Can I afford to get another one? Uh, Alright. Oh, I caught a- okay, that didn't kill me, necessarily. I caught a catfish. It's big. Alright, um, I think that's enough. <laughs> one more fish will kill me. Alright, let's sell these. It is very late. We've certainly played a lot. At least we got a little bit of income. We'll definitely make more once we gain access to the Garmin Mine District. There we go. It has whiskers. Do so, alright. What tools do I want to bring with me? Um, luckily a lot of items stack. Hmm. Okay, I might not need the hoe. I will need my watering can tomorrow. I might need my sickle. And fishing rod is situational, really. I kind of want to keep it with me, but then I also kind of might need the bag space, so... If need be, I'll run back for it. Alright. Oh yeah, what's also kind of nice about this game is unlike Tree of Tranquility, <laughs> You can actually uh, take out certain amounts of items. It, it doesn't force you just to take the whole stack with you into your bag. And you can actually rearrange your items, which is nice. I don't know why they didn't put that in Tree of Tranquility. <laughs> you just kind of... It just kind of moved things into like the opposite box or rucksack and just placed them in order wherever there was a spot. Alright. Okay, what else? It's probably time to save. Oh, also another thing that was kind of... Um, not really unique, but there was an additional feature that you could um, get on your nightstand here. There was an option to do a uh, Wii Connect um, back when there used to be Wi-Fi on the Wii, but it was only possible to do it if you had the Japanese version of the game. It was pretty much just a way for you to communicate with other players. You could um, send little letters to them. You can also you can also send over items, which I guess would allow you to manipulate the game somewhat, because you can get you could get items from other players that you wouldn't necessarily have access to right away. However, there was one major glitch in the Wii Connect system. Um, sometimes after checking your letters, and if you weren't careful enough and you saved right afterwards, um, you would check your calendar, and you would notice that all the festivals were pretty much deleted off your calendar. <laughs> and, yeah, it would pretty much make it impossible to attend any festivals. Um, 
the game would still set up the area as if there was a festival going to happen, but none of the NPCs would exist on the map that day. <laughs> so you wouldn't- it would delete all your festivals. And yeah, if you saved afterwards, there was no way to really get that back. The only way you could prevent that is if you checked your letters and then like as a precautionary, you went to check your calendar, and if you saw that the festival stamps were off your calendar, you would have to like reset, reset your game, reload, reload the file from before you checked your weak net. All right, well, that's not in this game though. <laughs> they, I guess they had, they just decided instead of trying to fix it, they just took it out completely, so players wouldn't get that glitch. Oh well, yeah, nothing, nothing we can do do with that there. A feature that we're never gonna be able to use. Alright. Well, I should probably stop blabbing and end things off. I've been- we're almost hitting two hours here. I'm exhausted. Let's say we have three files here. Uh, let me save over my my sound test file. I'm trying to make sure the game works alright. Alright. Um, yeah, so we'll probably stagger out our files. We'll use all three. As we move along. Anywho, I hope you guys had a relaxing time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh,